Okay, so we are gonna do a variety of pinks, but we're gonna start with our fancy pants, which is a pretty vibrant darker pink. We're gonna jump into arm candy. And then here first we're gonna do as a base French rose of play and then we're gonna jump into another color but first we're gonna do this as a base I'm gonna do it girl And then our blush kisses. We're gonna go ahead and put this hand in the lamp. Okay, we're gonna second coat all of our fingers. candy again it grew and blush kisses Go ahead and put it in the light once again. Okay, so on this finger, we're gonna add a second coat of French Rose Souffle and not cure it yet. Yeah, I'm gonna do that coat and not cure it yet. I'm gonna grab a little bit of all the colors I use. This is Fancy Pants, Arm Candy, it girl and blush kisses now with the Tammy Taylor flat ovals I'm gonna use this side and with my brush I'm gonna go in this way Pick up some color. I'm gonna wipe my brush and grab a little bit more color. And you can grab it the other way if you want to. You can grab different colors. And apply it. Wipe it again. Lift up more colors. Just a little bit more. Now we're going to go ahead and cure that. We're gonna go ahead and use gold gel art paint. And the Tammy Taylor liners. I'm gonna use this side. 
And here we're just going to create really fine lines just to complement all the pinks that we put in here. I'm just wiping my liner here because I don't want to get too much of it. And here you can just really get creative and add it wherever you feel you need to add it. We're not really following a certain pattern. We're just kind of letting your brush kind of flow with the rest of the pinks. We don't want to put too much. We just want to accent all the pinks. We're going to put that in the lamp really fast. Okay, so a little tip or a little trick I always do when I'm going to work with various colors or do nail art and I'm going to have a lot of brushes in hand. Um, I like to get my little towelettes and I cut them in pieces just because I like to wipe my brushes a lot or I'm wiping my tile. Obviously when I clean or need bigger pieces, I leave them in bigger pieces, but my brushes are small this is for tiny jobs so i like to cut them in little tiny squares like this and then just have them right next to me so every time i need to for example just clean up my brush i'll pick one up and remember our brushes are precious tools so we want to treat them like it we just want to grab and pull just be very gentle with your bristles here we're gonna add one coat of French Rose Souffle and we're not gonna cure yet because we're adding more colors. But this is just what I wanna use as a base and I need it to be wet. Once that's on there, I'm gonna bring the rest of the colors I was working with, which fancy pants. Gonna add a little bit here. And we're going to bring arm candy. It girl. And our last one is blush kisses. And you don't have to place these in any certain pattern. You just get creative with it. You can add or take off or add more of one color if you want to. And we're going with our brush, flat ovals, side. Just making sure all the bristles are well put together. And then we're gonna pick up some color. You we'll wanna pick up most of all the colors, get a good mixture of it. And then just place them with the paint facing up. And then kind of work it in there. Shake your brush a little bit if you need to. Make sure you're dragging. Like I said, there's no specific pattern we're following here. So I I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush and this is where these little pieces come in handy. Again, we're going to scoop up some color. And we're going to come in here. Now, if you're doing this and you feel like your brush is not letting go of the color, that means you're grabbing very little. You need to have a good amount of color in there so it can drag as you're moving down or you're dragging down your color. And if you need to, you can get your brush and on a tile, just kind of practice it before it goes on the nail. See that has a little bit of color so that won't drag any color. You would have to grab more. And when you have a good amount of color, 
it slides easier. I'm gonna clean this off again. I'm gonna add a little bit more. like the way it looks there and just trust your creative side if you feel like if you really like the way it looks if you want to mix more color if you feel like hey it needs a little bit more darker pink lighter pink you can do it um this is the creative side of it you can add as more color on there as you want or you can just leave it as light as you want but for me that's fine and because i like to mix up the colors this one i did it very lightly but this one i wanted to have a little bit more of a, a swirl in there so we're gonna go ahead and dry this one. Cure this one under the light. So we're gonna add our gold gel art paint. And our Tammy Taylor liner on the long side. Now with our little towelette that we cut, we are gonna clean our tile up as well. And throw that away. We're gonna grab a new little square and make sure this one's clean. All the bristles are set down. It's ready for use. Again, with the gold, it's more of an accent. I don't really want too much of it. I just want to make sure it helps the pink stand out. Now, when you're doing detailed lines like this, we're not so detailed, but you're swerving your brush around. Feel free to press on your brush if you need to. The more you press on it, the more textured lines are thicker and they kind of go all over the place. And with a design like this, that's kind of what you want because it's not a design that is structured. It's just kind of, you're just following with what you like. you always just want to go back to your tire and make sure that all those bristles are back into place. All it needs is a tiny bit just to make it pop. And keep in mind how I always clean my brush after I'm done. And we're gonna flash cure that. So we use the same technique. Obviously we use the more of the space of the nail. We're gonna be using Galactic Rodeo Tassel Dust. And we're gonna just use a brush. I always like to keep an old brush that I don't use anymore for glitters. We're literally just gonna grab just a tiny bit just to add a little bit of sparkle to the snow. I literally just grabbed very little. And this glitter is, um, I'm adding it just to the tacky layer of the gel. You don't need to put anything else, anything special on there, any type of glue. It'll hold on to the tacky layer of the, of the gel. And you can cover the whole nail with this glitter if you want, but I feel like it needs just a tiny bit. But it's up to your creative decision. the glitters on there and we're gonna use flawless finish top coat and I'm gonna top coat this now because it's done I'm not gonna do anything else to it so I just want I want to seal it those under the light now 
now that the top coat cured we're gonna grab a little towelette that once I cut since it's just one nail we just need a little piece of it put some clean it on it now sometimes when we add glitter because the glitter is textured you will notice that there it is bumpy you can feel the texture so that means we have to top coat twice we wiped it I wiped it I touched it it is textured we don't want the texture so we're gonna grab our flawless finish one more time and we're gonna top coat these two one more time so we can make sure that that loose glitter we used stays there Once we cured our second coat of top coat, we're going to grab our towelette again, use some of our clean it, and wipe, and you're going to feel the difference. There's no texture on the nail anymore. Once I apply the second top coat, there's texture on there, I can feel it. So we can take that off with the buffer and you do this after the second time you coat not the first time if you buff the first time you coated and there's texture on there and you want to take it up with the buffer you run the risk of removing some of the art some of the glitter so just make sure you coat it a second time and that's when you can go ahead and buff your nail out with no problem and it's just a little piece you don't have to buff the whole nail because not the whole nail has texture. And you don't have to add a lot of pressure. If you don't, you don't need to break the seal of the top coat. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You just kind of touch it. There's no more texture. And if you, I'd really applied no, no force into that. It's very smooth. And again, before applying our top coat, again, we grab a towel lid, we grab our clean it. wipe and we apply top coat one more time and you might be thinking okay that's three top coats that's three layers of top coat but because we apply our gel polish in very thin layers the hernail is not chunky it's not gloppy because the um, layers of gel polish we applied were very thin so this nail here has one, two, three, has five layers, but it's still very thin because all of our coats that we used of color were very thin and you can't tell we have five layers in here. So we're gonna go ahead and cure that. We're gonna grab another piece of towelette here and our clean it. We're gonna wipe for the last time here. And there you go, no more texture. All smooth. So here are the two designs. Like I said, we use the same technique, but we have two different looks, just the way we apply the colors. For this marbling, it was more of like a wet marbling. I wanted to pull in the shades of pink, but I wanted to still kind of keep it within the same colors. I didn't want to move away from the pinks which you can also do if you would like to but I just felt like the pink and the gold and a little bit of the glitter just kind of makes it pop and still classy and pretty 